You can guess the function of a decoder from its name. The decoder converts the input binary code into a control signal at one of its outputs. Generally, decoders have an n number of single phase inputs and 2 to the power of n outputs, where n stands for the digital capacity of the code to be decoded. Decoder chips are marked as DC in diagrams. The decoder has only one active output. The number of its output and respective signal is definitely determined by the input code. This means that if 0, 0 is applied to a decoder's input, we get 1 at the 0 output. If the signal 0, 1 is applied, we get 1 at the output 1. If signal 1, 0, we get 1 at output and 2, and so on and so forth. Standard products include decoders with 4, 8 and 16 outputs, which corresponds to 2, 3 and 4 digits in the input code. Inputs to which an input code goes are often called address inputs. They are marked as 1, 2, 4 and 8, with a figure standing for the binary code's digit capacity. The code on inputs 1, 2, 4 and 8 determines the number of an active output. C1, C2, C3 inputs are permission inputs, united under A and D function. The signal of these inputs determines the time of decoder actuation. Permission inputs can also be used to raise the digit capacity of the input code. Decoders' output signals and permission inputs often have negative polarity. This means that their active state is indicated with logic 0 rather than logic 1. If there is a need to decode a code with greater digit count, combined decoder chips are used. Decoders find one more application. They select preset input codes. The signal appearing on the selected output will indicate the code applied in the input. In this case, it is much easier to increase the digit count on the selected input code. Russian decoder chips are usually marked with ID letters.